What time is your boyfriend getting in? Boyfriend? <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm 16 again. <laughs> Although this mirror confirms I'm not. All those years, I'll never get back. Well, hopefully the doctor will discharge you today. She just needs to check your scan results. I'll tell that you're down it. I see you managed to bring all the important things. Sorry. How are you feeling? Like I drank a champagne fountain, never mind fell into one. Well, I say fell, but pushed would be a more accurate description. Pushed by whom? I didn't see. Taking a wild guess, one of the Dingles. Charity, probably. She was the gobbiest. You know, if prison taught me one thing, is that you can't let people disrespect you. Because then everyone will start taking liberties. Please, don't cause any more trouble. You've got to live with all these people now. Yeah, well, maybe the village people need to learn not to mess with Kim Tate. Joe's caused enough grief around here as it is. Can't you let it go for me, please? I've got bigger problems to worry about, like the one you failed to solve yesterday. Please tell me you took care of business properly this time. Short answer, yes, but um, maybe we should talk about the finer details once we're home alone. Hmm? We're going to be strong, remember? Patience, you're a free woman. If you experience any of the symptoms on the info sheet, contact your GP or 111 for advice. But the scans are clear. You're one lucky woman. Thanks, Doctor. Let's go home, then. Please don't tell me you buried him there. Of course I didn't. Well, where then? So I can't afford for him to pop up again, and neither can you. Trust me. Joe's body's never going to be found. These belong to Chris. Frank gave them to him. You did get rid of him. You gave me no choice. I couldn't let the psycho you'd have hired do the job. It was mercifully quick in the end. Joe's gone for good. But you're better off not knowing how it happened or where he is now. Plausible deniability. Yeah, well, don't get too sentimental. He shouldn't have crossed us. And you tried to help him. You know, people assume we find doing this sort of thing easy. But I'm not without regret either. Joe was family. But thankfully, not my only family. I want you to track my son James down for me. OK. I'll find him. But only if you promise to stop causing trouble. We have to live here. Sorry, Debbie. I know you're trying to find out who did this to me, but uh, the truth is, I don't know what happened. I drank a lot of champagne. I could have just tripped. Noted. Thanks. But I'm here on another matter. You were seen driving a car that was being auctioned yesterday without insurance. Oh, really? Well, who saw me? You know I can't divulge that specific information, but there were several witnesses. It's immaterial. She was on private land. We have images from traffic cameras. You were caught speeding. It's clearly you driving, Miss Tate. <laughs> well, write me up a ticket. We'll pay the fine now. Can't do that, I'm afraid. These offences put you in breach of your prison licence, so I'll be driving you straight back to jail, where you'll serve out the rest of your sentence in full. You had six months left, I believe? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You can't. This is completely out of order. What's well, police harassment, victimisation. I have served my time. You can't do this to me. It was meant to be a happy day. A charity fundraiser all for Sarah. I don't know where it all went wrong. Of course, people do bad things for lots of reasons. But some people deserve the consequences more than others. 
You tell me. What's worse? Telling the truth. Or living a lie. 